Ken Suck's got something fun lined up for the kids. And if you're looking to explore your artistic side and pick up a new craft, they've got something for you too. Shweta Gamble is here from Kentuck to tell me more about it. Shweta, thanks so much for being with us today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hate it when I don't turn off my phone. That's okay. That um, is fine. I'm sure yeah. it was an important call. Do you, do you need <laughs> yeah. to, to no, talk to I don't, yeah. No, uh -huh. I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah, there was a couple things that I wanted to talk to you about today. Sure. Get for it. Um, one is our community clay place. Um, it's our community clay studio that's really, it started out as a pilot project and it's taken off. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about that. Sure. And then we're also um, launching our Kentuck for Kids international series uh, on January 19th. All right, great. So. Uh, you sent me some pictures. And I, I'm guessing this is uh, uh, of the clay pieces. And uh, here we go. Just tell us what's going on. Okay, this is one of our clay co-op members, Hayes, mm -hmm. and she, uh, most of the members of our clay co-op do pottery, but she does sculpture. Mm -hmm. And she actually, um, make, she digs clay from the earth and instead of buying it and, oh, and wow. does these sculptures. Um, but she works, this is just her in the clay co-op. Um, it's a candid shot of her, but they have a lot of fun in there. And the way the clay co-op works is people pay a fee mm -hmm. Uh, per month to be part of it and it's a community studio where you have access to a kiln and you've got shelves and places to store your stuff and you also they take field trips they um, have workshops and you know it's a way to learn from other clay artists there we go and, and I guess these are some of the finished products and these are some of the finished products um, some of the pottery that some of the other members have done I'm not sure if this is all the same member or not, but um, they're the, pretty. They are, and our um, some of the members sell their pieces in the Kentuck Gallery Shop. Mm -hmm. They also um, every art night uh, they have their stuff out, you know, at a table um, for sale, and they have a booth at the Kentuck Festival. Now, one thing I remember, you know, being a child of the '80s, uh, that this was popular for a while with, uh, as a craft for, for stay-at-home moms. And, yeah. and you would a lot of times see uh, what we just saw in that previous picture, which looks like an ashtray, but you weren't really sure what it was supposed to be. <laughs> I know. Well, that one's got glass in it. And, um, you know, we had the picture that had just popped up is mm -hmm. our um, Bob, who is not a stay-at-home mom. And <laughs> he um, was thrown on the wheel. We've got wheels right. in there. So, you know, if anybody's ever interested in joining the Clay Co-op or mm -hmm. checking it out, Saturday mornings um, around 10, one of our co-op members, Fred, um, will give you a demonstration, show you around. And if you're interested, you can sign up for a sample membership, which is um, $20 for 30 days. Mm -hmm. And um, you can take your stab at it, see how you like it. And then if you like it, you can fully join. Now, if at any point that you're using the kiln, and you suddenly feel the presence of Patrick Swayze and you hear the Righteous Brothers singing Unchained Melody, that's free, right? You don't have to pay extra for that. No, no, you don't have to. <laughs> but, but to be on the safe side, uh, we have one guy who waits until the kiln's ready to go and he loads it and operates it. So we don't ah, have to, you don't have to worry about dealing with it yourself. But we did just get a brand new kiln. Ah, super. So. All right, and the kids, there's something fun for them going on too. Right? Yes, um, I'm so excited about this. Uh, thanks to a grant from the Arts Council, mm -hmm. um, we have a special boosted Kentuck for Kids this year. And um, it's an international series. We're going to be focusing on a different country every month with demonstrations that are musical, dance, art, all sorts of things. The kids will get a passport. For each, uh, and each time they come, they can get it stamped, and the passports, you know, won't be like your normal passports, but they'll have information about the different countries, and it'll be a little keepsake for them. Um, Japan is our first country, and it is on um, January 19th, and from it'll be 1 to 3 in the Clark Building. Um, so if y'all, if anyone wants to come before the parade <laughs> or after, we will Bye. be there. <laughs> Hanging out. Yes, and some of the other countries coming up are Ghana, Australia, we'll be doing Germany, India, um, Israel, and we're going to do a special one on civil rights later on in the year and on Native Americans. All right, super. Shweta, thank you so much for being with us today. Sure. You can find out more about what's going on down at Kentuck by calling 205-758-1257 or online at kentuck.org. Now you can check and see who was calling you. Well, fun weekend for movie fans. Thank you.